Hey everyone! Okay, this video is going to show you how to find the GCF or the greatest common factor. Um, I have another video that talks about prime factorization which we're going to use in this video. So if you don't know what prime factorization or factor trees are, then you should watch that. Um, and I'll put a link for you down in the comments below. Um, however, this is really helpful when you are trying to find um, the smallest number possible that will go into two different numbers because a factor is just that it's a number that you can use to multiply by to get this larger number so I'm going to start with the the same numbers that I used in my uh, in some of my other videos uh, we're going to find the greatest common factor for 250 and 360 and again, I'm just going to, the first thing, the first step that I need to do is find the prime factors for each of these numbers. So I'm going to use a factor tree in order to do that. So for 250, I'm going to factor that into 25 times 10. And then each of those numbers can be factored into 5 times 5, which are both prime. And then 2 times 5, which are both prime. So I'm done with that one. I have all of my prime numbers that make up 250. Okay, and then for 360, I'm going to do the same thing. 360 is 36 times 10. And then this is 6 times 6. And this is 2 times 5, which is, the both of those are prime, so I'm done there with that number. But my 6s can be factored into 2 times 3. 2 times 3. So I have all of my prime numbers listed for each of my larger numbers. So let me show you what to do with those. It makes it really easy if you list out each of these numbers from smallest to largest. So for my 250, I'm going to list 2. Okay, there we go. I turned on the light for you because it seemed like it kept getting blurry. Okay, so again, my factors are 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. And then my um, factors for 360 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. So I'm listing them out here nice and neat because now what I need to do is find my common factors. So in other words, what numbers are the same in both of these prime factorizations for both of these numbers? Well, I see that they share a 2, so I'm going to write a 2 down here. Uh, this number, 250, doesn't have any more 2's, so I can't use these. And it doesn't have any threes either, so I can't use those. But it does have a five in common. And I'm not going to use these other fives because there's no other five down here that can match up with these fives. So I have my two times five, which is ten. So that's my G C. There you go. I hope that was easy enough for you. If you have any questions, please let me know and check out my other videos, especially uh, my uh, factor tree video. And uh, if you're also needing to figure out LCM, lowest common multiple, I have a video on that as well. Thanks.